What is up everybody? Welcome to this new video. In today's tutorial, let's use ourselves as some models so we can turn ourselves into an artificial intelligence image. This is a really great tool. In today's tutorial, we're going to be using the Matt Journey. So you probably um, take a look into, you've already taken a look into the Matt Journey. You've already heard about Matt Journey. If you are not, I believe that this is going to be your best friend for a really, really long time. So in order to continue guys, you have to use a Discord account. So what you want to do here is to create your Discord account. Really, really simple. And once you create an account, what you do want to do is to go into Mattoni and join the beta mode. So once we are into the beta mode, it's going to be asking us to join the channel from the Mattoni server. So I'm going to go here into, into my direct messages. And here, as you can see, we are inside Mattoni. Now, you don't have to be worrying about all this new features, all this tools, all this stuff about the team. So what you do want to do, of course, is just to focus into the newbies section. And here we can start working into Mezzoni. So as you can see, Mezzoni is doing a lot of work in here. And there's a lot of people doing a lot of work here. So I can strongly suggest you to create your own server here and to add server. And once you create your server here, really, really simple, is to go into the newbie section. Look out for the Mezzoni bot and click into add to server. So if I go back into my server, my own server, Metsioni automatically is gonna be added in here. So with that being said, now that we are inside the Metsioni, these are a few images that I created on my own, and it's really easy to use it. It's really, really amazing. What you can do is to hit into settings. You can go into the fast forward slash and hit into settings. And here you can see all the adjustment section which you can do here. I can import the different versions of Medjoni, the base quality, the type of styles, the video scales, and you want to enable the remix mode and the fast mode, of course, in order to get started. Now, how do we remix ourselves? It's really, really easy to do that. What do you want to do first of all? is to choose your images. In my case, I've just downloaded two images of a model here. And um, this one has like a very great quality. This one is has not so much great quality. So we're going to be using both of them and see which one is like better for the computer to understand what are we looking for. So what I want to do here is to go into my images. I'm going to select actually the one that does not have so much quality. And I'm going to just drag that into my server and I'm going to upload it. There we go. So here's my image. What I want to do here is to copy the link of my image. So what I want to do here is to click into my image, hit into uh, copy the link of my image. So I'm going to just click in here and I want to copy the link of my image once again. Here it is. And there we go. Copy the image, copy image address. And here I want to type the fast forward uh, slash and type into imagine. Here into imagine, I want to paste the image that I used used. You don't want to locate the width and the height. You want to delete this where it ends in the GPJ. And here you want to import, let's say that this is the image as a uh, sent wave a uh, realistic style. I'm going to look for coma port R8. Let's say high quality 4K. I'm going to tap for, let's say, I don't know, maybe neon uh, cyberpunk. Let's say I want to as a cyberpunk here. Cyberpunk realistic style neon. I'm going to just go for synth wave. And once you have successfully done with all the permissions, if you type for the first time, it's going to be asking you to accept the service of service. In my case, I've already done that. So I want to go into the enter button. So once you do that, then you want to try this once again. So as you can see, I do have here my image as a cyberpunk. I misspell cyberpunk. Hopefully we can cancel this. Uh, I can go into the X mark and actually it's, it's okay. I can just leave it like that. But as you can see, we have more details like a portrait, like an AQ, 4K, new and set wave. And let's see what the computer can do with the image and the description that I just gave into him.
So as you can see, it has been done. This is the 30% of what we've just created. You don't have to worry about this because it's going to be better and better and better. So if I clicked in here, I'm going to look for the one that best fits for my model. In my case, I think that the most accurate one is the second one or the latest one. So I think I kind of love this one, this guy. It, it looks like really, really accurate into my to my model here. They are look they are to look alike. And here what I want to do here is to look for the upscale, the number four image. And then I can just start to work with this guy. I'm going to choose upscale number four or to choose variations of an image that you think that looks so much uh, like you. In my case, let's say that I want to do the reload and see if this guy can do something else. What I want to do is to try once again to input here the image in prompt. I'm going to type the same thing and I'm going to paste that in here. Now, if you want to do like a really, really great challenge for the computer, what I do want to do is to import a new image. In my case, I have an image of the Robert Pattinson Batman. And here I want to upload it. I'm going to send this. And let's try to make like a variation, like a remix from one image into the other one. This is going to be a really, really great, um, let's say like a, I'm going to tip into the enter mark here. This is going to be really a really challenge for the Majoni. I'm going to hit into imagine like this. And I'm going to look once again for my image. I want to copy the address. I'm going to paste that here. Remember to delete this until we have the name of the file. And here I want to do exactly the same thing with this robot image. I'm going to copy this image address and I'm going to paste that in here. And once again, I want to delete that in here. So here, what I do want to do is to use this one to make like a remix of this image. Now I'm going to click into my variations and see what the computer has done here. So as you can see, it has like a style between the Robert Pattinson Batman and the image of my model. Now, if you want to get a little bit more accurate, you can do that. In my case, I think that it has done a really, really great job. And here, uh, what I want to do here, I'm going to try with the new image. I'm going to go into the, this one that has like more resolution and hit into the end mark. So what I want to do here is to look for the latest, uh, let's say for example, image in here. And I want to copy the model here, copy image here, I'm going to paste that. And here, what I want to do is to delete once again this size. And I'm going to hit dressed as the Batman. So with that, if I make like a quick compare between the this guys, between these models into my main model, I think that they are not so accurate. So I can try to randomly do that once again. But I think that actually it looks really, really great. So I think that I'm just going to leave it like that and try to make the same thing in here into my reimagining. But this is a way of how we can get started here into ourself being an IA image. So hopefully, guys, this was a very useful video for you. Now, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you do want to see more great tools about this match tuning application. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.